Good morning, early afternoon. Today is Tuesday, and I just got done having lunch, so I thought I'd come on here and say hello. Got my water, people. Make sure you're hydrating. Anyways, <clears throat> I went back today and read some of my journals. I like to journal. I've been journaling ever since oh long time probably I don't know at least five to ten years but unfortunately I started to do every day and then unfortunately I don't do every day I do like once a week sometimes once every three months it depends on what's going on in my life but like I said I started reading through it because I wanted to figure out how long it's been since I've smoked and as far as I can tell, I was sick, um, let's see, last year, September, September 29th, my son rolled over his truck, and I had quit before then, well, not really quit, I never used the word quit, because I just set yourself up for self, what do you call it, I don't know, destruction basically. Because it's weird, with an addicted person to something, whether you're addicted to sh you know, sugar, nicotine, booze, alcohol, power, um, OCD, anything like that. I find that, in my opinion, if you say quit, I'm going to quit this. It's like your brain, like, panic mode, you know, and it wants it more. So I never used the word quit until now, you know, it's been, it's been a lot of months, nine months. So hopefully I quit, but I always left the window open because I didn't want to set myself up for failure. As far as, um, you know, if I did fall back and have a bad day or I have a lot of stress in my life when it comes to hard times sometimes and relationships and, you know, finances and all that crap, you know, just like everybody else. So anyways, at that time, my son, had, I was sick with a bad lung infection last September oh wait a minute how did that go my arm was hurting me I had a pinched nerve in my back it was making my neck and my whole right side my right arm terrible pain so I had to go to the doctor for that so yeah I'm not one for doctors so when I do go something has to be desperately wrong <clears throat> And uh, he started setting me up for like MRIs and all this stuff, which I never went and did. Ain't that awful? I have a bug around this little fly. But anyways, I'm getting way off the subject. What I'm trying to talk about is... I forget now. <laughs> no. I was just going through my journal and... You know, I'm kind of glad that I did take a journal because a lot of the stuff I... You know, you forget throughout the years. But, um, yeah, I looked up when I quit smoking. I, I would say it's probably around the end of September. Well, on June, I mean June. I'm looking at the calendar and said June. On September 29th, I remember writing in there, Yesterday I smoked one cigarette. Today I found out my son got in a wreck. I smoked six. So, but, anyways, I'm all over the place with this, sorry. It's just interesting to me that the things that you forget about, and forget about how people treat you, you know, it's pretty crazy. A lot of 
things in that book now, in the journal I read, and it's like, why do I put up with these people? Why do I, you know, you kind of see it from outside the window. And I'm not talking about you, Jasmine. I'm talking about my husband. My daughter-in-law has a paranoid that I'm talking about her, I guess. Talk about my husband. And if she's watching this. Um, I don't know, he's just very cold a lot to me in the, vid um, in the journals. I remember telling him about when I was sick. I needed to go to the doctor and it was 6 o'clock at night. And he hollered at me because... I waited too long. I should have went that day. But mind you, I had no vehicle to get there, so... I don't know. It's weird how you look back on things and see... Yeah. How things went. I'm hoping this year's better. I do that every year, don't we all? Um, I was supposed to already plant my garden. I ended up going, my daughters and I going last week and picking up a few clothes because we were desperate you know at thrift shops and yard sales and stuff like that we don't have a f we can't afford to buy brand new stuff so I use that money and then I'm buying stuff for myself like I bought three shirts a pair of pants um, and then I always feel guilty after I hate it it's ridiculous it's like hello you work hard around here you don't need to feel guilty does anybody else do that? Um, let me see what else I want to talk about. This is one of the shirts that I got. It's got a pocket. It's kind of a coral color. And it's got this little design here. I always, when I put stuff on, if it's clingy, I don't, I won't wear it. I have, and then I usually like stretch it. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I think this one was um, $4.99 at the thrift shop, which is kind of crazy, seriously, because um, the prices are going up there, and I probably could have got it like $6.99 or $7.99 brand new, so, anyways, um, I'm online right now looking up uh, video converters, I just took a shower, and then ate lunch, like I said. My dog's in behind me snoring. Yay. And this is probably 10 minutes, so... Yeah. It's interesting. If you don't do a journal, you should start. Because it's... It's interesting to go back and see what you write. Okay, guys. I'm going to close this. I was all over the place. I hope you stuck with me. Bye bye It's raining here. Crappy. Blech. This weekend, we are supposed to be going to Connecticut... I think it's the 18th and I'm not even sure what vehicle we're taking yeah that's interesting we might have to rent a vehicle so that should be interesting okay bye guys bye bye